See the unveiling of a satanic statue. Very controversial story. Much of it still shrouded in mystery. Fox 2's Dave Spencer joining us with that story. Behind me is the building where ticket holders of the Satanic Temple of Detroit were told to come see an unveiling of sorts, a statue. But once they got here, they were told there is no statue here. In fact, we tried to go in and see for ourselves. Our, we were told that our cameras were not allowed. We talked to people as they were leaving the event. They told they were merely given instructions to another location where possibly the statue was being held for its own protection. They wanted to keep that a secret. No matter where you stand on this issue, it's one that's igniting passion on both sides. It was raw passion and belief on display for public consumption. And this demonstration was a protest of the plans of the Satanic Temple of Detroit. We understand that freedom of religion means we have the freedom to uh, express what we believe as well. It's more of a motive to um, get rid of religion or to make fun of religion. And I don't, I, I mean, I don't think that they should do that. Meaning, if you don't believe in God, and that's what the Satanic Temple group says, they don't believe in God. And they also say they don't believe in the devil. So why would you create an image that represents the devil? This protest was held away from the unveiling site only because the Satanic Temple kept its location a secret, only known to hundreds of paid ticket holders. I think it does add to the allure. I think some people are a little bit worried that there will be uh, attacks. There was talk of arson from religious groups. So it's uh, a little bit of... It's a little bit frightening and a little bit attractive at the same time. What seems to bring this relatively quiet, passive group together is a shared belief. I thought that Satanism was a deification of Satanism, or, or the devil, like kind of the Christian right. devil, which is totally not the case. Um, it is more of like, you know, only worship yourself. And a desire to see that belief understood. A lot of people that, in fact, are protesting out here, that uh, they're more looking at it as a... Uh, there, there were devil worshippers, which were not. Some were piqued by curiosity. What is the Satanic Temple of Detroit all about? It sounded like an interesting cultural event, and I actually looked up their beliefs on their website, and it made a lot of sense to me. Just a few of the reasons people stood in a massive line that stretched down Warren Avenue, waiting to see a bronze goat-headed idol that weighs one ton and is nearly nine feet tall. I've seen pictures that I think were... Uh, the incomplete version of the statue, and it looks really interesting. I'm a big fan of art and statues and uh, big first-time events like this, so I'm interested to see what it looks like. And we were told that Detroit would just be the place where this statue is unveiled. It will not be its permanent home. In fact, it will be going to Oklahoma, where it's set to sit alongside a Ten Commandments monument that's at the state capitol there. We'll follow that development and see if that's where it indeed ends up. In Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.